What is good, y'all? Shout out to Game Man. Back in with yet another reaction video, baby. And today we join my special guest, Naruto Uzumaki. You good? Yeah, so. You got choked up introducing you here, my boy. What's good with you, Naruto? How you feeling, man? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, then he talking crazy. I don't know if y'all heard him. He said Gar about the whoop. Uh, Toph right here in this death battle, but yes, you see it by the title man Gar versus Toph, Naruto versus Avatar death battle, and I think this could be a pretty good one. Now, Gara is one that kind of honestly, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why, how these two kind of interact. You know, Toph is obviously blind, she goes off other sounds and senses. Gara's sand kind of moves to protect him without him seeing, so maybe that's similar. I, I really can't. And then he uses sand, so I guess sand is still part of the ground, so talking. But he can also make sand come from the sky and gourd on his back without moving. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty tough to convince you that Toph gonna win this one, Naruto. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm with you, Team Naruto, all the way. I think Gar's got this one. Let's see what they got to say. You know, I gotta cut out a little bit of this because they still getting copyright claims. So please stop copywriting your brother. Link to the original videos down below. I'll be trying to say that every time. It don't work. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what I can do about cutting wise because we already know the backstory of these two. Let's just get into the stats. This about to be good, no, I'm telling you. Ooh, what is Throughout death battle, we've seen all manner of weapons and abilities, but these two combatants command the very earth around them. Gutta of the desert. And Toffei Fong the blind bandits. I wonder which guard we're gonna get those. Dick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. He can wield it as a weapon, using his mind to trap and yeah, crush his foes. Oh, and he can also use it to freaking fly. How the hell does that work? He can mentally adjust the density of his sand, whether it needs to be lighter than air or stronger than steel. He can even use it to stop bombs powerful enough to wipe out an entire village. He can control any sand in his vicinity using his chakra, a spiritual energy shinobi acts as for superhuman abilities, such as walking up a tree. This guy is like the ultimate emo kid, but I'm not gonna give him too much crap because he can use existing sand to crush the ground around him for even more sand. Well, so he's you. never without easy access to ammo. Despite this, bro, that sand coffin, uh, sand burial thing, I used to think was so undefeated, but anybody got hit with that, but it was right. Oh, you say you handled him? Yeah, lock in parts ago. He still carries a gigantic gourd of sand on his back. It's huge. You'd think that'd be hard on his spine. Interestingly enough, its unique shape and size is a reference to how, in Japanese folklore, tanukis were considered to be so well endowed they'd have to sling their testicles over their shoulders. Awesome. But the Someone thing is, balls Gata's on his bed? is not carrying any ordinary testicles. I mean, Sam. Gata has infused his own chakra into oh, the gourd. Oh, they had a plug This ahead. directly links it to Gata, making it much easier for him to control. He's so skilled with it, he can even forge weapons from it, bury people underground, or send it into another person's bloodstream and control them like some sort of puppet. Talk about an itch you're not gonna scratch. Also, Gata eventually battled and defeated his own father, who happened to be a zombie at the time. His father used a magnetic release ability to control gold dust, much like Gata does sand. Even though he can't do the zombie dad magnet thing, Gotta added gold dust to his gourd sand anyway, giving him more control over its weight. But wait, there's more. With her dying breath, Gotta's mother somehow imparted her own power into this sand. It became living sand, an extension of her will, determined to follow and protect Gotta. It will spring from the gourd to defend him from any danger, regardless of risk and without command. This absolute Ooh, defensive yeah, technique is... is called the absolute defense. Pretty good name, really. Gotta send is so dense and fast, only someone who can move nearly the speed of sound can pass it. Gala can also use everyday sand to create defenses such as his sand armor, which encases that, that him in a sweet. shell to soften blows. Unlike his automatic absolute defense, the sand armor is self-created and requires a large amount of his chakra to maintain. Gata's skill with sand is only limited by how much chakra he's got left in his system. After running low, he could tag out and give Shukaku a turn fighting. Until a group of crazy people literally pulled the sand monster from his body for good. That yeah, must have hurt. Like you. It's gotta be like twice as bad as the night after Chipotle. He died. Oh, the same then. Look. Turns out losing Shukaku was actually a blessing in disguise. After being resurrected, Gata spent some time reevaluating his emotional roller coaster of a life. Mm -hmm. Inspired by Naruto Uzumaki, he began to truly understand compassion. 
His attitude changed. His people began supporting him. He even commanded the Allied Shinobi forces during the Fourth Great Shinobi War. That boy and, turned And, like up. his late father, Gata also became... A zombie? Wait, what? Kazekage. No. Damn! Well, that even boy. non-zombie and missing Shukaku, Gata still retained his powerful chakra and skill over sand. In their fight, Gata was so powerful, his father mistook him for Shukaku itself, despite the sand monster being long gone. Gata is stronger and smarter than ever, all thanks to his mother's love. I miss Mama Boom's dick. Aww. Few can withstand the overwhelming power of this sand shinobi. Or Mama Boom's dick's cooking. Hey, <laughs> you're uninvited to Thanksgiving. I never was. Yeah. Exactly. Bro, that scene was so chilling, bro. And then look, he just walked downstairs like, like he ain't even do that. We gotta add, we'll come back and talk about Toph. These giant varmints taught Toph how to manipulate rug and stone. Using movements similar to the Chu Gar praying mantis martial art, Toph can telekinetically throw, grow, shrink, and alter Earth in any conceivable way, making for some pretty down to earth attacks and defenses. The Badger Moles also taught Toph how to see. Wait, these ridiculous creatures are also masters of LASIK surgery? No, Toph does not use her eyes to see. Of course, her other senses are extremely accurate, and as a master Earthbender, Toph can sense the location of Earth anywhere. Even more impressive, though, the Badgermoles navigate their tunnels using an earthbending technique known as the Seismic Sense, and Toph quickly picked up on this talent. It's kind of like sonar, detecting the exact location and movement of a person or object through their interaction with the ground. I feel the vibrations in the Earth, and I can see where everything is. You, that tree, even those ants. She feels every movement, every footstep, every heartbeat, so precisely she can even tell if a person's lying. A woman who can always tell when I'm lying? No, thank you. Toph is so good at this that even her closest friends sometimes forget she's blind. No, that's right. I reacted to a video about that too, man. Make sure you guys check that out on the channel. Sorry. But don't worry. They're reminded. In only six years, Toph had completely mastered earthbending. She even won the Earth Rumble 4 tournament multiple times under her stage name, The Blind Bandit. But Toph didn't stop her training with just earthbending. Yeah. At first, softer earth proved difficult for her seismic sense. I feel the vibrations in the ground with my feet, but the sand is so loose and shifty, it makes everything look fuzzy. But she has since demonstrated her mastery in both sand bending and mud bending. Yeah. She can also change the density of earth from sand to stone and back. And before you start making any density or hardening innuendos, she's 12. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. But her greatest uh, gotcha, achievement is the discovery of an all new bending art, one thought to be impossible metal bending. By manipulating the earthy composition within, Toph can bend nearly any type of metal just as well as stone. The exception being highly purified metals such as platinum. Toph okay. quickly mastered metal bending and went platinum on to teach it to others. She eventually even founded and led a metal bending police force. Ooh, and that's, that's after tough. conquering Earth Rumble 4, holding up a building the size of a castle, defeating an entire army almost single handedly, and dueling King Boomy to a standstill. And that guy's conquered an entire hostile city by himself. Even in her old age, mm -hmm. Toph was capable of going one on one with a new avatar, and her seismic sense could locate people across the world. She knows when I've lied and where I've been? Women should not have these powers. Hey, he ain't lying, do you know it, do I am the greatest earthbender in the world. Don't you two dunderheads ever forget it. It's time for fight all time. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle. Oh, this was before the, the uh, sponsorships. We still rolling with Gara though, regardless. Put down below who y'all got. Ugh, talk about a rough ride. You do not belong here. This is sacred ground. Yeah. Oh yeah, tough guy. Make me. Forward. Yeah. Uh. That's too easy for her. Enter 
interesting. She can mine stone as fluently as I control sand. Yep. By the way, I can tell you're using your sand to smash up the ground underneath us for more ammo. Pretty smart for a sand. Too bad I'm gonna kick your butt before you can use any of it. You would normally just pull out the sand. I can't underestimate you. Yeah! I need time. Huh? Whoa! What did she just randomly get on? Just randomly got some shrimp? Sorry, Grumpy. I'm not ready to be a shish kebab just yet. I don't think I've ever seen her make that. Come on! Are you really that scared of a little blind girl? I'm touched. Wait, what? Yeah. What? Your eyes. Those are not the eyes of loneliness. Like mine. Oh, they are... blank. Impressive insight, Gloomzill. I'm digging the whole wearing sand thing, though. That's new. Whoa! Hey, no bear! Sand coffee. You need your eyes to control the earth. I will remove them. Dream on, creep. It'll take a lot more sand than that to take me down. That's Add mid fight, bro. <laughs> There we go. Did I hear a sand guy go off? Sun coffee. Sun burial. It's tough, but it is done. There's no way. Jeez, I almost felt that. That's impossible. Are you kidding? Pay attention, Sandy. She is not a substitution. There's no way to ah! Oh. There's no way at all. Gotcha. That's how it's done. This is probably the biggest cat I've ever seen in my life, but I no, no, there's no way Top will win this fight. Because first of all, how do we get how he's out in the desert? She just can bring up stone and, and pillars now. Show me what she did that in the episode, and then maybe I'll maybe I'll consider it, but. No, there's no way. That's how I feel too. That's, yeah, Why did another anime character have to lose? Yeah. No. What? There's no way. Here's why. Gata's sand is monstrous, and its speed and power could easily obliterate most there's folks. No way. But with Toth, it's another story. Really? She's freaking blind for God's sakes, and he can fly. Oh, in the official behind-the-scenes extras of the Avatar Book 2 DVD, we found this. Toph can feel the Earth, even if it isn't connected to the ground. Toph is tough, but her real strength lies in her precision and technique. With her earthbending and seismic sense, she could see Gata's attacks coming the instant they began. Regardless mean, of ain't he was fast, though. While Gata's chakra-infused sand is controlled by his late mother, it's still sand. Just like in an earthbending duel, Toph was able to influence it long enough to misdirect or block attacks. Also remember, Gata added his Those are weak opponents to the mix, giving Toph two different bending options just in case. Unlike platinum, gold contains traces of iron and copper, and can be metal bent. To top this off, Gata keeps himself covered in his sand armor, so Toph could always sense where he was. And it's specifically stated that the sand armor uses up large amounts of Gata's own chakra not his mother's sand. 
So when he ran low on chakra, it became difficult to maintain. Thus, Toph had no problem turning Gala's greatest defense into his worst weakness. Gata couldn't stand up to Duff. <laughs> I know you're floored. I really ground that one in, didn't I? What can I say? It's my earthly delight. Uh, the winner is Toph Bay Fong. No need to gravel about it. Can't we just bury the hatchet? I'm out. Yeah, nah. Y'all can miss me with that one. Y'all can completely miss me with that one. There, there's no way. Yo, never in a million years give me to admit that Toph would be Gara in any kind of fight. Oh, no. No, his dad was able to beat his dad, who was supposed to be a better. I digress. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm not gonna get heated, man. I'm not gonna get heated. I just disagree. But let me know down below if you guys agree with it. You think Tom actually beat him? Let me know if you guys agree with me, though. I think Gara got this. First of all, you already immediate uh Chanta School Hall of Fame uh, for that statement. Uh, but let me know what you know down below, man. Leave a like and subscribe on your way out. We'll be coming with more death battles. So if you guys are enjoying, keep showing the support. More of them keep coming out. You guys are showing pretty good amount of support for these. So we'll keep doing these more and more as I keep finding more and more to do. You know, eventually, we'll probably run out. But as they produce new ones, we get right on to them. So let me know if any new ones do drop out. Comment that down below in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Be your boy, Shot to Smooth, aka Black and Kage, Black Avatar, King Leo. Catch you guys in the next video. We gone? Peace. Believe it.